How's that book report going, Skipper? It's okay. I still have to work on it for a few more hours. Okay. Well, I'm so proud of you. You've been working really hard on it. Thanks, Mom. Let's do that drill one more time. Great job, Chelsea. Go ahead, Sarah. You can try it. And go. All right. Come on, Chelsea. Good shot. Amazing practice, girls. I have some snacks for you here, some applesauce and some granola bars. That was a really good practice, Sarah. It sure was. Hey, guys, come on. Oh, that's my sister, Barbie. Come on, Stacy. I'll see you at school tomorrow. Bye. Stacy and Chelsea are back from soccer. Hey, girls, how was practice? It was really good. Ugh. I had a really good practice, but... I'm not feeling so good. Ever since the car ride home. Chelsea had an amazing practice, Mom. She is doing so good. All that hard work is paying off. But I don't know, she started sneezing in the car ride home. Thanks for picking the girls up, Barbie. You're welcome. I think Chelsea might be coming down with a cold, Mom. I hope not. I hate being sick. Achoo. Let me see. Well, you are a little warm, honey. Why don't you take a shower, change your clothes, I'll make you some chicken noodle soup, and you'll just take it easy for the rest of the day. Uh, okay, my head is kind of hurting now. Come on, sweetie. I'll make some soup for you. Thanks, Bob. Uh, oh, no, I can't believe I'm getting sick. Achoo. My eyes are kind of burning, too. Achoo. Why don't you lay on the couch, Chelsea, while your soup is ready? Okay, I think I will. Achoo. Here, Chelsea, here's a little blanket. Oh, thanks, Barbie. I brought you some tissues, Chelsea. Thank you, Stacy. Oh, the soup is almost ready. Here you go, sweetie. Your food is ready. This looks really yummy. Thank you, Bobby. Well, thankfully she doesn't have a fever, so it's just a little sniffle for now. Make sure to eat all those carrots, Chelsea, and the chicken, not only the noodles. Mm. This spoon has chicken and noodles. And this one has a big carrot. I hope you feel better soon, Chelsea. Thank you, Skipper. Achoo! And I hope I don't get anyone else sick. Well, it's pretty late already, sweetie. How about an early bedtime? Usually I would say no, but after soccer practice and achoo! Starting to feel sick, I, I think that's a good idea. Would you tell me a bedtime story, Bobby? Absolutely. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Good night, Chelsea. Good night. Achoo! Good night, sweetie. Good night. Achoo! What book do you want to read, Chelsea? Uh, I have the perfect book up here. Will you read me the Cinderella story? It's one of my favorite books. We always read the story, Mommy, but what do you think? How do you think their wedding was? Cinderella and the Prince? Mmm, I don't know, but I'm sure it was pretty magical. Can you tell me the story about their wedding? Yeah, I think I can tell you how it went. It all started when Cinderella was still asleep. Um, I can't believe it! Today is my wedding day! I am so, so excited! <sighs> and I'm a bit sleepy still. I need to get my robe. Hmm. Cinderella? Cinderella, dear? Fairy Godmother visits her again? Achoo! Whoa! I think I might still be dreaming. Fairy Godmother? Is that you? Oh, well, dear, who else would it be? You don't have another Fairy Godmother, do you? No, 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 it's just it's been so long since I've seen you. Well, I wouldn't miss your wedding day, would I? Uh, <laughs> of course not. Well, you don't plan on wearing that to your wedding. No, 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 I just woke up. Hmm. 
I'm a bit hungry, are you? Mm, ah, great, because I'm starving. Mm, oh, let's see, where do I have some space? Oh, silly me, I forgot the food. Mm, it smells like a feast. Wow, wow, are we expecting company? No, 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 darling, I'm just really, really hungry. Mm, what am I gonna have first? Everything looks truly delicious. But please, darling, come, come, sit. You don't want to get married on an empty stomach. Oh. Oh, this dress is a bit too fluffy. Would you like some tea, fairy godmother? Oh, yes, thank you. Here you go. Thank you, Cinderella. Everything looks so delicious. I don't even know where to start. Yummy, that sounds like a really yummy breakfast. Now, darling, do you think I can dress you for your wedding? Do I? It would be such an honor. Oh, yay. Well, hurry now, finish your breakfast, and we can try on a few dresses. I've been practicing my magic for wedding dresses since I heard of the news that you were getting married. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll finish quickly. What do you think? I came up with all these beautiful dresses. Wow, they are all so beautiful. <gasps> so many beautiful wedding dresses. Which one will she choose? I don't even know what to say. Well, darling, which one is the one? I don't know, maybe if I try them all on, I'll have a better idea. How about we start with your hair and makeup, and then you can try on the dresses. That's a wonderful idea. My hair is kind of a mess. Mm, yes, grab a seat, please. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Fairy Godmother. You're making this day so much more special. You're welcome, darling. Now go ahead, go try on your dresses. This dress is really lovely. It is, but you need to try the other ones first. <laughs> okay, um, this one is really beautiful too. <gasps> this one is also stunning. Mm, I don't know. It seems like these are not your style. I think you had something else in mind, didn't you? Well, kind of. I envisioned something a little bit different. Something with flowers on it. I don't know. Something a little more unique. I have just the thing for her. I absolutely love my dress and my veil and my crown. Oh, thank you, thank you, Fairy Godmother. This is exactly what I dreamed of. We need one more thing. What else could we possibly need? Um, I think for the next thing we need, we best go outside. Have you got any pumpkins, darling? I did this once. I am sure that I can do it again. Mm-hmm. Hey, they turned a pumpkin into a, into a carriage again. <coughs> Fairy Godmother, thank you so much. You're welcome, my darling. Now go and enjoy your happily ever after. Goodbye, Fairy Godmother. Goodbye, darling. Thank you for the story. It's just that I'm really tired. Let me tuck you in, Chelsea. I think you'll feel much better in the morning. Achoo! Amari's starting to feel a little bit better. Good night, Chelsea. Get some rest, sweetheart. Good night, Mommy. Achoo! <coughs> I'll come check up with you in a few hours, okay?
still don't feel good since last night? My head feels like it's gonna explode. Chelsea, I was lucky enough to get you an appointment this morning with the doctor. But I have a really important meeting and I won't be able to take you. Barbie, will you do me a great favor? Of course, Mom. I can take Chelsea to the doctor, no problem. I don't want to go to the doctor. They might do some scary things to me. Oh, sweetheart. You don't need to be scared. You love the doctor. She is so nice. And we need to know why you still have a fever since last night. We want you to get better. I promise Chelsea is going to be really fast and easy. Our doctor is so, so sweet. Well, I guess she is really nice and she'll help me feel better. Right, Barbie? Absolutely, Chelsea. That's the right spirit. Now let's finish up the breakfast and we'll go to the doctor. Perfect, girls. When I come back from my meeting, I'll make you a really delicious chicken noodle soup. Yummy, my favorite. You know what? I don't really have too much of an appetite right now. I'll just have a little bit more of my oatmeal, then I'll finish. That's fine, Chelsea. Good luck at the doctors. I love you. Okay, Mommy, I love you. <coughs> a little bit more of my oatmeal. I don't want to waste anything. That's so yummy. Let me get some with the banana, too. Mmm, so good. Okay, Chelsea, let me just clean up the dishes and then we can go to the doctor. Okay, Barbie, I'm gonna bring my backpack so I cannot be all bored when I have to wait. Okay, Chelsea, we're here. We just have to check in with the front desk. Hi, welcome to Dr. Maria's office. Do you have an appointment? Um, yes, we have an appointment for my little sister, Chelsea Roberts. Hello, that's me. Okay, let me check the computer. Okay, I see your appointment. Any changes in the insurance? Nope, everything is the same. <laughs> my belly hurts. I think it's because you're really nervous, Chelsea. I guess you're right. Please take a seat until the doctor calls you. Okay, thank you. Let's take a seat, Chelsea. Okay. I hope they're not going to take too long. Just sitting here makes me nervous. It's okay, Chelsea. I'm sure they'll call us really soon. I hope so. Barbie, can I use, watch something on your phone while we wait? Sure, Chelsea. Okay, that's your water bottle. That's my water bottle. Here, my phone. I want to watch Titi Toys and Dolls. Here you go, Chelsea. Chelsea Roberts? Yes, that's me. Come on, Chelsea, it's your turn. Come with me, please. Come on, Chelsea, that's us. I'm scared. That's okay, hold my hand. Okay. Hi, Chelsea, I'm Nurse Kathy, and I'm gonna be your nurse for now. Um, so first we're gonna have to see how tall are you, and then we're gonna weigh you. So first we're gonna do your height, come along, it's okay, don't be scared. Can you please take off your shoes so I can put them on the counter? Well, will I get them back? Of course, silly. Okay, we're gonna need you to have your head straight. Oh, don't go on your tippy toes. Okay, I'm gonna move it down and see. Okay, you can get off now. Okay, Chelsea, please step on the scale. Okay, just a little right angle, and there we go. All good. Okay, let me get everything ready. Put the padding. Do I got all my tools? Okay. Okay, Chelsea, you can come up right here. Do you need a little help getting up? Yeah. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now let's set you down. You doing okay, Chelsea? I'm hanging in there. You know me. Okay, now we're gonna check your heartbeat. Take a deep breath. Okay, take another huge breath. Another one. One more. Another big one. Okay, short one. Let me take your temperature. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, you have a fever. I'll let the doctor know you have a fever and she will be coming in shortly. Okay, my head feels kind of hot. The doctor will come in shortly and give you a medicine for your fever and your headache. Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna take your blood pressure. Okay, it's gonna feel like a really tight hug on your arm. Okay. Perfect, we're all done. Chelsea, the doctor will be coming in shortly. I hope you feel better. Thank you, Nurse Kathy. I'll see you soon, Chelsea. Bye, Barbie. Bye, thank you. Aw, 
Oh, Chelsea's such a sweet girl. Let's get the doctor's office all ready for Chelsea's appointment. We'll need a sink for the doctor to wash her hands. An exam table. This one is so cute, it's a little ladybug. We've got some drawers where we can put some extra tools for the doctor. We have a scale, a small scale for the babies, another workspace for the doctor, and here we're gonna put some of the medicine and extra tools the doctors may need. The doctor will need this tool to check the blood pressure, a thermometer, and we've got some extra band-aids in case our patients need their shots. And our exam room is all ready for Chelsea. And this is a really cute room, Chelsea. It is. Aw, oh, Chelsea, look how adorable. It's a little ladybug. I'm still a little nervous, Barbie, even though we did a lot. You're doing so good so far, Chelsea. Do you want a little water while the doctor comes? Thanks, Barbie. May I come in? Yes, of course. Hello. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, doctor. Nurse Kathy told me that you have a fever and you've had a fever since yesterday and also that your head is hurting you. It's been hurting a lot. I'm gonna check you to see why you're not feeling good, okay? And I promise it will be easy and fast. First, I'm going to wash my hands. Since Nurse Kathy already took your blood pressure and your temperature, I'm just gonna go ahead and check your ears and your throat, okay? Okay. Let me just get something from the drawers here. I'll need one of these to check your throat. Okay, Chelsea, I'm gonna need you to open wide and say, ah, stick your tongue out. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry about that. Well, your throat looks a little bit red, but I'm not too concerned about it. Let's go ahead and take a look at your ears. Okay. Let's see which of my tools I need. I need this one to look in your ears. Okay, Chelsea, I'm gonna take a look at your ears. Mm, okay. Okay, let's see the other one. Let's take a look at this ear. Okay, Chelsea, it looks like what's giving you a high fever is that you have an ear infection on both ears. <gasps> what a tragedy! Oh, Chelsea, it's okay. You've had an ear infection in the past. But don't worry, it's an easy fix. I'm gonna give you some antibiotics. You'll take it for the next seven days. Ew, is that the yucky white medicine that tastes like vomit? Uh, it's not the best tasting medicine, but it will make you feel better, Chelsea. For now, I want you to get plenty of rest and drink lots of fluids. Okay, Dr. Maria, but what fluids? She means liquids like water and Gatorade. Barbie, I do want Chelsea to come back if the fever doesn't go away in the next 48 hours, and we can do a recheck for her. But I think the medicine will make her feel much better by tomorrow. That's great news! Actually, I have antibiotics right over here that you guys can take. You'll have to take it two times a day. Here you go, Barbie. Thank you, doctor. You can have your first dose as soon as you get home. Aw, oh, snort! All right, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, Chelsea, feel better. Bye, Dr. Maria. Bye, doctor, thank you. Come on, Chelsea, let me help you down. Chelsea, I am so proud of you. You did amazing. Thanks so much, Barbie. I feel like I did really good too. Thanks for being there for me and holding my hand when I needed it. Absolutely, that's what sisters are for. Now let's go home, have some chicken noodle soup, and get some rest. Okay, I love you, sissy. I love you too, Chelsea. 